Number system. You already know about number system in your earlier classes, right? And you have learnt about the number line and how to represent various types of numbers on it. Just imagine this girl. Her name is Veena. She starts from zero and goes on walking along this number line in the positive direction. As far as her eyes can see. There are numbers and numbers. Now, suppose Veena starts walking along the number line and collecting some of the numbers. Get a bag ready to store them. She might begin with picking up only natural numbers like one, two, three, and so on. She knows that this list goes on forever. Now, her bag contains. Infinitely many natural numbers. Recall that we denote this collection of natural numbers by the symbol n. She turned, and on her way back, she saw a special number zero and picked it up and put it into her bag. She now has the collection of whole numbers, which is denoted by the symbol w. Now. Stretching in front of her, there are many many negative integers. She picks up all these negative integers and puts it in her bag. What is her new collection? Recall that it is the collection of all integers, and it is denoted by the symbol Z. Why Z? Z comes from the German word Zahlen, which means to count. Are there some numbers still left on the number line? Of course, there are numbers like one by two, one by four, or even minus hundred and five by hundred and six. If she puts all such numbers also into the bag, it will now be the collection of rational numbers. The collection of rational number is denoted by Q. Rational number comes from the word ratio. And Q comes from the word quotient. A number is called a rational number if it can be written in the form p by q, where p and q are integers and q not equal to zero. For example, minus fifteen can be written as minus fifteen by one. Here p is equal to minus fifteen and q is equal to one. Therefore, the rational numbers also include the natural numbers. Whole numbers and integers. Hey, this fellow is going somewhere. Do you know where he is going? I think he is also going on the number line. He knows that there are infinitely many numbers, and he wants to reach the end of this line. Look at him, how worried he is. Let us take an example. Example one: Are the following statements true or false? Give reasons for your answers. First one: Every whole number is a natural number. Solution: False, because zero is a whole number, but not a natural number. Second one: Every integer is a rational number. Solution: True, because every integer m can be expressed in the form m by one, and so it is a rational number. Three: Every rational number is an integer. Solution. False, because three by five is not an integer. Example two: Find five rational numbers between one and two. We can approach this problem in at least two ways. Solution one: Recall that to find a rational number between r and s, you can add r and s and divide the sum by two. That is. R plus S divided by two lies between R and S, so three by two is a number between one and two. You can proceed in this manner to find four more rational numbers between one and two. These four numbers are five by four, eleven by eight, 
13 by 8 and 7 by 4. Here r is equal to 1 and s is equal to 2. So 1 plus 2 divided by 2 is equal to 3 by 2. Similarly you can do like this. Solution 2. The other option is to find all the 5 rational numbers in one step. Since we want 5 rational numbers in between 1 and 2, we can write 1 and 2 as 1 is equal to 5 plus 1 divided by 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 by 6 and 2 is equal to 2 into 5 plus 1 divided by 5 plus 1 is equal to 12 by 6. Now we can find easily the 5 numbers between 6 by 6 and 12 by 6. That is 7 by 6, 8 by 6, 9 by 6, 10 by 6 and 11 by 6. These are all rational numbers between 1 and 2. Again simplifying we get 5 numbers 7 by 6, 4 by 3, 3 by 2, 5 by 3 and 11 by 6. Notice that in example 2 you are asked to find 5 rational numbers between 1 and 2. But you must have realized that in fact there are infinitely many rational numbers between 1 and 2. In general there are infinitely many rational numbers between any two given rational numbers. Let us take a look at the number line again. Have you picked up all the numbers? Not yet. The fact is that there are infinitely many more numbers left on the number line. There are gaps in between the places of the numbers she picked up and not just one or two but infinitely many. In my next video I will cover what are the numbers that are left on the number line called. How do we distinguish them from the rational numbers? Work hard, dream big, never give up. Thanks for watching.